everybody here is caring, compassionate, and empathetic, and wants to see not just the school succeed, but every student here succeed and reach what we know is gonna be their full potential. I'm Sarah Varga. I'm the head of school here at Phoenix Recovery Academy. And I will say one of the things that is the absolute bright spot of my day and of my job here is the community that the students have created for themselves. They have really taken ownership of being there to support each other. Uh, it's inspiring to come in in the morning, to see them making coffee in the kitchen, hanging out, chatting about, you know, the meeting that they went to the night before, um, the homework that maybe they did or they didn't do <laughs> the, the night before, um, and then rolling into our morning meetings where we get to check in with each other to see how we're doing, to get our day started. And they have been the ones that have started to create um, that culture of support and accountability for each other. My name is Maeve and I'm a senior at Phoenix Recovery Academy. Five months ago, I was on the brink of death and I barely had a relationship with anybody in my life, not my family or my friends. Um, thanks to the incredible support I've had, I am now closer with my family than ever. And I have an incredible group of friends. When I lived in Florida, I had gotten into a little bit of trouble with the law there and didn't really know where I was going and I didn't really care unless where I was going was going to get me high and so I moved to Maryland to live with my dad and I wasn't doing good. I was doing the same stuff, wanted to live the same life I was living and I hit the bottom. I found the Phoenix Recovery Academy and since then it's I've found my purpose in life and I've made goals for myself long term and short term that I can see myself finally completing. That was a big thing for me. I've never been able to set goals that I can complete, which is incredible. And it's just, I finally feel like I've found my place in life. I feel accepted by my friends, by my family. I like want to make my family proud and I've gained so much from being here. It's a, uh, I can't even explain it. All of us here have a passion for helping each other. Um, especially the student. And finding ways to do that would be one-on-ones. Sometimes we pull together with a group discussion and we try to talk about what the positive changes and positive attitudes can do to lift up any of the bad spirit that we might be feeling. Our community, our restaurants for one, have been very supportive. We provide lunch for our students every day and have a board member who fortunately is willing to take some of her time to coordinate this effort, so we have lunches donated. The food is a dream come true. I've never had a school cafeteria feed me so well. Lunch here is amazing. We get uh, donations from local restaurants and it is just amazing. The best food in the city and there's always a pantry full of snacks if you wanna just sneak by and, and uh, switching classes, you can go grab a snack or get some coffee, it's, uh, it's good. We have seen many families, parents, loved ones, become very involved and in helping with their student think clubs here. I believe that we cultivate a lot of hope within the families and we try to give them a way to work on recovery within the family as a whole. They've asked for a meeting when the students have an AA meeting on Saturday and the parents have requested to have their own Al-Anon meeting because they are so hungry for tools and support themselves. Uh, the reality is that addiction is a family disease um, and we treat it as such. Uh, once a month parents come in, uh, we get food, we break bread uh, as parents together and students together and then they break off into groups, students uh, with students and parents with parents and staff. And what we found is the parents would be very upset if we stopped this, uh, this uh, dinner meeting once a month. They are strongly in favor of it. They gain support from each other in the same way that our students do. They come and they bond with other parents and hear other stories and find that no, they're not, they're, they're not that story isn't unique. That, other people have gone through the same thing. I very much believe that 
that here at Phoenix Recovery Academy, we are creating more positive citizens to then send out into the world. And that wouldn't be possible without all of the community support. We are pretty unique in the degree to which this community supports recovery generally. Um, and then of course that has really uh, kind of trickled down into their level of support for the school specifically. And I think frankly, uh, many of the schools that I come in contact with are fairly jealous of the degree to which we have had support, uh, financial and otherwise, in the community. So um, we couldn't do it without that support. It just wouldn't be feasible um, for our students to either be able to afford to come here or for us to provide the services that we do. My favorite thing about coming here to school is just feeling welcome and they really care about how you feel and what you're going through and how your sobriety is doing, which is super important because when you're trying to get sober, if you don't have a support system, then it's very difficult, if not impossible. My teachers are there for me when I'm learning and they're there for me when I'm struggling with recovery as well. The most rewarding part about working here is watching the students discover things on their own. Uh, the aha moment or the light bulb moment um, when they've made progress in something that they really were not uh, on board for. We're quick to have open, honest dialogues with each other. I have a fantastic relationship with my high school principal, which is something I never thought I'd be able to say. I am on the phone regularly with um, parents and caregivers, therapists, probation officers. We know that it's gonna take the entire community to help support these students. And, you know, I very much see my role as being that support for the parents too. There's a big belief uh, here at Phoenix Recovery Academy that we are gonna help and support the entire family, not just the students that enroll here.